Hey everybody, it's me, Sissy, back again with another Dollar Tree haul. This is a little one. Nothing really major new, but I did find one fun thing. I did, I've never seen these before. Maybe they had them, but I just missed them. But the Crafter Square Bunny Butt. <laughs> well, bunny tail, I get. They call it bunny tail, but it is a bunny butt. That's going to be really cute. I'm going to put it in a, um, a potted plant. Uh, not a potted plant, and a flower pot, and I hope to find some of the uh, um, large raffia carrots to make a little Easter decoration, but I'm going to be on the lookout for those, but um, I just thought it was adorable, so I picked it up, and um, not, a other, not a lot of other really exciting things, but the cute little bunny tail. Um, I did pick up these two cute little plush I'm guessing these are hedgehogs. I don't know, but they were just cute, and I thought I would pick these up to personalize also. A video coming up this week showing how I personalize these with um, heat transfer vinyl, so y'all stay tuned for that. And I have another little bunny that I'm going to add to that. So, But they're really cute and soft and squishy. Then I picked up some rolls of the clear... Um, quick cover contact paper. This is great if you have a Cricut. This is great to use on your mats, um, especially if you're doing a lot of things that are fuzzy like fabric or felt uh, or glitter cardstock. This is great. I will show you I'll, in my video when I do the HTV, I'll show you how I use the contact paper with my Cricut. And then I picked up the Sure Scent toilet bowl spray and citrus. The stuff really works and it is a lot less expensive than the poopery that you can get at Walmart. I got the adorable little trash can. Uh, well, it's supposed to be a pencil holder, but I'm going to put it on my makeup table so I can put my used uh, little facial wipes and q-tips and things in it. I thought that would be very handy. Oh, and I was able to find one of the uh, Crafter Square Square wreath forms. Hopefully, I'm going to be doing a, a wreath with that coming up soon. I'm getting into really a little bit more of making the wreaths. So. Then I got the uh, four-pack of barrettes in the pastel colors. Those are really cute. And I have some little uh, decorations to put on these. I might show you all a video on that. And I got a sheet of the adhesive cork, adhesive cork sheet. Going to do a little craft with that. And then I found these. I thought these were really cute. This is the Iron On Art. It's the two little rhinestone hearts. I thought that'd be cute. I got two of them. I thought that'd be cute. I could put it on this shirt and have a Valentine shirt. <laughs> But I thought that was cute. I picked those up. And, oh, at the end of this video, I am going to do a review of two of the items I got last week. The Palmer's um, hair treatment and the lip scrub. So, y'all stay tuned for that. I got some of this um, Bi Pure Infused Press Powder Makeup Setting Powder. So I'm going to give that a try. And I picked up the Fruity Facial Mask Mango Nourishing. I um, got that one. And I picked up a um, orange one. So I'm going to give those a try and let you know how they worked. And then some little boring stuff. Just a box of Kleenex. And it's the actual Kleenex brand. And it has... Uh, how many is in here? 84. 84 Kleenex. And I picked up another uh, one of the gel lip liners. I really liked that I got last time, so I picked up another one. And a scrubby. Always getting a new scrubby. Throw me all one away. And let's see. This is um, the Special Moments Magnetic Photo Frame. So I picked a 4 by 6 size. I got one of those. And y'all, that's just about it. So um, as soon as I do these other two items, then we'll do the review. 
picked up the um, Fresh Scents Carpet Odor Eliminator. This is good stuff. It smells really good and you can't beat it out at all. And then I picked up, this is not for me, this is for the family because I'm doing the low carb keto. And if you're interested, I'll put a link in the description box to my other channel where I'm doing the catalog, not cataloging, um, I can't remember what word is now, y'all. My mind's going. I'm keeping track of my low carb journey, so uh, y'all jump over there if y'all interested in seeing it. But it, anyway, these cookies I know from past experience. These are really good cookies, so I picked up a box of those. And that is all of my haul. I told you it was really small. So now let me go get my products, and we're going to do a little review. Okay, last week I picked up this Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula two-step hair mask I picked that up and I got the BioPure lip sugar scrub and the little tool that you use with it so first let's talk about the Palmers um, I would out of five stars I would give this four stars I thought that worked really good I made my hair feel really good and moisturized and um, it wasn't as fuzzy I have the curly hair so it's really fuzzy the reason that it's not getting five stars is it has a smell not not that it it's not like oh my god that stinks it's just not a pleasant smell I, I don't know exactly what this, the fragrance is or maybe it's from the cocoa butter I don't know but it's not a pleasant it's not unpleasant but it's not pleasant it's not something I would pick to smell but um it worked so good if i could find some more i would buy it um i did go back to my dollar tree this week i couldn't find any but um i'm gonna look online and see if i can find it i think maybe that's why it was in dollar tree because it does not have a pleasant fragrance if they had to put something in here to make it smell better this would never have made it to dollar tree i don't think but anyway this was really good if you have a problem with frizzy flyaway hair or your hair needs a deep condition i would completely recommend this and if I can find some more I'm going to get some more so now let's talk about this bio pure lip sugar scrub um, I liked it it um, you got to be careful when you open the tube because it comes out really fast so it's really liquidy maybe you need to shake it up or something but anyway what I did was I washed my face took all my makeup off I put a little bit of this on the scrub little scrubby thing now the side that has the big bumps on it the big I don't know if you can see it one side has big bumps and the other side has little tiny ones um, the big one um, felt like it was too rough on my lips so I just used the other side and you know scrub my lips not you know not really really hard just scrubbed them and I did that two or three days and my lips are not chapped anymore they're not crusty they're really smooth so I really like this it, it has a nice fragrance it's kind of minty um, it doesn't have a bad taste or anything I mean I didn't I tried not to get it in my mouth but um, I was really satisfied with it it really did the job so I recommend these two products from Dollar Tree so um, if you um, give them a try and like them let me know but anyway y'all that is my haul and my review for this week we'll see you later i got some diys coming up hopefully they'll be up really soon so but anyway y'all have a good week i'll see you next time bye bye